What's up, guys? Lamb Chop 99 here, bringing you Hut Roulette episode number three of season two. And uh, I've read a lot of your comments. I pre recorded uh, the past two episodes, so I didn't really get to uh, change any of the rules. So uh, I did read a lot of your comments, and a lot of you guys were angry that I was uh, getting, I was at least choosing a lot of good players, even though I was losing and winning. Uh, so, what I'm going to do uh, for every three games I win, I get to choose the same method. I'm going to be able, if I win three in a row, I can choose uh, the collection type depending on the amount of goals I get, just like normal. Uh, so if I score two goals after winning three games, of course, uh, then I can do whatever I want here. Uh, but if I lose a game, I have to buy, it starts back from the beginning, just like always. And uh, if I don't get that three game win streak, I have to search regular player item, no matter what. Uh, I might actually boost that up to five, depending on what you guys think. Uh, but you guys were saying that I was wasting my pucks too fast buying the Hut Live and the Winter Classic cards and the Movember cards too fast. So, you guys let me know uh, what you want me to do. If you want me to buy one of those collection types on a three game win streak or a five game win streak, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, because I really want to cater this to you guys. I know I'm not trying to uh, force anything on you. and uh, But that is basically the first rule I'm going to do. Uh, second rule, someone posted out. I forgot who posted. Uh, but if I win three in a row, um, or uh, actually, sorry, not if I win three in a row. If I get a shutout, uh, the amount of goals I score in that game is the amount of change team cards I get to buy. I think that was pretty close to it. But basically, that is the rule I'm going to do. Uh, basically, the amount of goals I score on a shadow game uh, is the amount of change team cards I get to buy uh, at random as well. I don't get to choose uh, what change team cards I get to buy. Uh, but that is basically it. Um, and I'm going to start up a game. I know I dragged this on a while. And we are on a one-game losing streak, actually. And we did pick up uh, Taylor Hall from last episode. I'm not sure if you guys want me to sell it, but uh, I can just keep it and then maybe use him. And you guys can see how he plays in the game. Maybe he'll score me a couple goals. Uh, but right now, we want to play a game. Uh, I want to extend that streak and buy a new player, just like the regular Hut Roulette rules uh, from before, where I just buy regular players. But we're going to be facing a guy named Divine. Hopefully, if he wants to start it up. Uh, no, he doesn't want to face me. But let's just get right into a game I want to play. Alright, so we're facing Divine. He's got a Pavel Datsuk as a show guy. And I'm hoping Taylor Hall and uh, Henrik Zetterberg can actually step up for me this game. And uh, I, I have a bad feeling. And this is international ice, so I don't know what to think about this. Henrik Sedin, Daniel Sedin, and Parise. So he's definitely got... Uh, what's his face? He's got uh, Datsuk on his second or third line. Oh, I haven't played at all today. Oh! Taylor Hall, uh, I can get it, but a lot of you guys also said just to do the highlights, so I'm just going to do that too, and I'll get a goal right here as well. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, I'm going to cut the clip. And we score a goal with Paul Stastny with one minute, or two minutes in, and uh, right after I cut the clip, I just scored. So, uh, we are up by one. We're not doing too bad. Maybe I can get a shutout this game, get some change teams, but so far, so good. Ah, oh, it's a bad face. And Paul Stastny scores another one. Oh my goodness. Paul Stastny is going to be on fire this game. But uh, he's got a sick team. He's got uh, Ovechkin. I saw Datsy. I'm not sure if I saw Crosby in there. Uh, but he's definitely got a stack team. So I got to watch out still. It could be ice tilt. But I don't know. Uh, but right now we're playing pretty good. I still got to keep up some pressure. Uh, come on. Sauce that up to Samuelson. Pass it to McMillan. Do a couple 45 degree cuts and snipe. Uh, oh. God damn it. All right. Still got lots of time. Alright guys, that is the end of the first period, so we're playing pretty good so far. Uh, with a 2-0 lead, Montoya keeping us in the game. Uh, but he's not gotten really that many shots, and Ovechkin leading the group back into the change room. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if that was a good replay or not for that goal. But, he's got a very stacked team, I still got a lot of time. I guess he wants to watch all the replays. Paul Stastny getting a nice slapper from the uh, bottom of the circle. Uh, so right now we're getting the majority of the scoring chances. Uh, let me just show you the stats. 8-1 in shots. Uh, two minutes on attack, basically the same. So uh, we still got to keep it up. Don't want to let him score any goals. Oh my goodness, he scores a little weak one from the blue line. And uh, you got to expect that from Antonio. Let him a couple of those goals. But it's 2 1 now. Uh, it's not looking good, boy. It's not looking good. Let's dump that puck in. Come on, get a, a good opportunity. Nice puck bounce. Come on, let's go in. in. Ah, oh, come on. All right. Uh, still got lots of time left. Come on, put some more pressure on him. Put some more pressure. Oh, uh, no. All right. Uh-oh. This is not good. Get back. 
Oh my goodness. Totally missed the poke checks there. Soft that up to Sestito. Sestito. That's a penalty. Can't be doing that. All right. Still got lots of time. And we finally get a goal. We put so much pressure on him on the penalty kill. He got, a, I think, a five on four, but four minute penalty. Uh, so there we go. We're up by two now. We still got a lot of time left. Uh, but I want to get a couple goals, seal the deal. He's still got a lot of good players. I can definitely score on him. Oh, I got a penalty. Jesus. Oh, man. All right. But uh, we're now four on four. Still lots of time. Oh my goodness, and he gets it off the faceoff. I mean, he did a nice couple dangles there, but Montoya definitely out of position on that one. Making it 3-2, to two, and it's not looking too good. We're down we're down by one again, or at least we're leading by one, but I don't like those one goal leads because it's so close. Oh, come on, get the puck. Hope. Oh, I'll bet you take it from me, of course. Keep him on the outside, and there we go. We pick up the win for the boys. There you go, I know it was kind of boring watching the last part, but 3-2, to two, and uh, we did not get a shutout that game, but I don't really care. We got the win, so we got 19 shots, uh, definitely pretty even game in my opinion. Uh, he definitely stepped it up in the third, but I got to capitalize on the first and second. So 19 shots, we're on a one game win streak, and like we said, uh, I'm not going to choose, uh, I'm not going to change the collection type uh, because you guys didn't like it. So I'm just going to buy regular player just like normal, and we're going to put it up to buy now minimum to 1,000 by regular player on the 19th or the 19th player. So here we go guys, put it up to 1k, that's 10, and the 9th player on the next page is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Stay lock out of all people we pick up. So uh, 5,000 pucks, that seems okay. I mean, I'll, I won't buy the cheapest one if I know that uh, it's not too bad of a price. So 5,000, there you go, stay lock. Uh, he's, not, he's got some pretty good stats, not going to lie, but definitely not going to be anywhere on our team. Uh, but that is the end of the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the new rules. Remember to keep posting rules in the comment box if you want me to change it up. But that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys later. Bye.